Okay, so now we're ready to do a forecast for exponential smoothing. If you remember, to, to develop a forecast for exponential smoothing, each forecast needs three things. First, it needs the previous month's demand, it needs the previous month's forecast, and it needs the alpha value. We were given the alpha value in the example problem, which is from the book, by the way, we are also given all the demands for all 12 months from the year 2001. Unfortunately, exponential smoothing, in this case, will not be able to start until the month of March. Um, in the month of February, we're going to use a naive forecast to get the ball rolling, so to speak. And so, we're going to use naive forecast to begin with, equals the previous month's demand. Simple naive forecast for the first step equals. And now we're going to start the exponential forecast in March. The reason being the first time that we have both the previous month's demand and the previous month's forecast available for us is in March. You can see that February is the first month has both of those available. So, we're going to use the formula that we discussed in class. It's also in the notes and in the book. So, we're going to type it in. Equals. Now, the formula is alpha times the previous month's demand. So, we're going to start with that term. Alpha times the previous month's demand, which is in this cell. The next term, we add it to the next term here. The next term is, in parentheses, 1 minus the alpha value, close the parentheses, times the previous month's forecast. And that's the formula. It's entered incorrectly. Now we, hit we just hit enter. And there's the first exponential smoothing forecast point. To make it easy on ourselves, we would like to plug in the formula one time and copy it down. The way that you make that possible is this way. You start by entering the formula just like normal, click in the alpha box, and instead of doing the multiplication by the previous month's demand right away, you push the button on the keyboard F4, the F4 button, and it turns the cell reference into an absolute reference. So now I multiply that by the previous month's demand, and I add it to 1 minus alpha. Again, I'm going to push F4 on the keyboard to make it an absolute reference. I'm going to close the parenthesis and multiply that by the previous month's forecast. And I'll hit enter again. And now that we've done this, we can click in this box and copy the formula down, just like we always do. And so, there, now we've developed an exponential forecast for our model. And now we're done. The next step we'll discuss in the next clip.